Hello everybody, in this video I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $116,161.37. In the past year I am up $41,300.89. Year to date for the year 2024 I am up $23,000. $974.61 Today was a green day for me. During the day I was up $1,290.08. After hours I am up $988.59. So overall, over $2,000 up today. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, $330. I have Amazon, $140, $130 put credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return, $38. I have Amazon, $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return, $72. I'm selling Delta Airlines $49 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, I am down $520. I'm selling Disney $95 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, $754.02. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, I am down $11,136. I'm selling Target $150 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, I am down $165. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $603. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $600. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $3,301. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $187.96. My average cost, $185.26. My total return, $810.44. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $10.20. My average cost, $5.71. My total return, $28,740.48. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $95. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $11,000. I have 100 shares of Target. Target is at $158.53. My average cost, $154.50. My total return, $402.51. I have 400 shares of Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines is at $53. My average cost, $50.73. My total return, $908.04. This is a margin account. My margin total is $103,678.51 My margin used is $77,398.70 My options collateral is $12,000 This leaves me with $14,279.81 in buying power My margin status is low risk My buffer is $42,526.83 This is how much money I can lose before I get margin cold my annual interest rate is 
The daily interest I'm paying is 12.79% and I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So 116K right now. I've made some good money this year. Year to date, 26.01. So a little bit over 26%. If we compare that to SPY, year to date, SPY is at 23.88. So a little over 2% over the returns of SPY this year. Um, the thing is, I could have had so much more money. So I'm at 116,000 right now, right? Look at my position in SoFi. My total return, I am down over $11,000 on this position. If I had not done this covered call, I would be $11,000 richer. Are you kidding me? So instead of being at 116K, I could have been at 127K right now. I could have been $11,000 richer had I not had this position, but I'm down $11,000. Negative $11,000 return on my SoFi $8 covered calls. What a disaster. Um, yeah, I could have been close to 130K right now if I had not done this SoFi $8 covered call. SoFi went up so much recently. It's at over $10 right now. My goodness. Just today, 11.54% during the day and 1.39% overnight. So that's like 13% today. Crazy. Oh my goodness. Just one month ago, it was only at 793, like 770, $7 and something, right? But it's over $10 now. Oh man. Can't believe it. I missed out on so much money. And this goes to show you like, I know I get a lot of questions. Oh, you know, covered calls. Show me how to do covered calls. Show me how to do what you're doing. Listen, it's not for everyone, right? There's a huge downside to covered calls. And this is a prime example of that. Covered calls caps your gains. So you can't really make, you miss out on money if the stock goes up way too high, like it did here. 13.65% just today. So if I went up, 13.65%. Oh my goodness. So when it goes when it goes up so high like that, it's I mean it's gone up over 30% in the past month. It's crazy. But yeah, covered calls don't do well in those situations where the underlying stock just goes up and up and up and I end up missing out on a lot of money. Over $11,000. <sighs> Negative $11,136. Can't believe it. So I missed out on a lot of money because I had this covered call. Um, yeah, I, I did not expect SoFi to go up by that much in such a short amount of time, but it is what it is. Now from here, now I have to think long and hard about what I want to do because I want to keep my shares. I want to keep my shares. So no matter what, I do want to roll this out. And I think I have, I'm going to have no choice at this point. Um, I was kind of debating on whether I should be waiting and seeing if it goes back down again, but now that's over $10. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I, for sure. I do want to roll it out to a further expiration date and a higher strike price. It's just a question of when I want to do it. The thing is it's already at pretty much max profit. I mean, there's, there's really nothing more I can really squeeze out of it. Um, yeah. I mean, current price 206, so 106, it's, it's really not, I don't know, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll look into rolling it out to a further expiration date and maybe a higher strike price. Well, not maybe, definitely at this point, since it's over $10, I think I want to choose a higher strike price than $8. So, oh, I'm so, I can't believe this. Missed out on over $11,000. I mean, I could have been at 127K right now. Can't believe this. But hey, that's that's the nature of covered calls. That's the downside of covered calls. You cap your gains so that, you know, you do make some money from the covered calls. But then the trade-off is if the stock goes up and up and up and goes really high, you know, goes over 30% in one month, this is what happens you end up losing out on a lot of money. 
yeah, look at this. In the past month, SoFi is up 31.10%. So up over 31% in the past month. Oh my goodness. I missed out on so much money. <sighs> Anyways, I just wanted to make this video, share this with you guys, the current situation that I'm in. I lost out on so much money. Oh my goodness. I could have, I could have done so much. I could have bought a new bed. I could have, oh my gosh. There are so many things on my, on my Amazon wish list. I, I could have bought a massage chair. A good massage chair costs like, I think you can get one, a good one for maybe 3000. I don't know. Dang it. There's so much I could have done with that $11,000, man. I missed out. Anyways, uh, I'm rambling on. I'm uh, okay. That's it. So that's it for this portfolio update. If you guys like this type of content and you guys want to stay up to date on my portfolio and how I'm doing, please make sure to like and subscribe. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.